Greetings, fellow mortals. I'm wearing my Haunted Mansion scarf today with Madame Leota. It's appropriate because today's book review is a vampire book. This is my first book review, and I don't know what I'm doing, I'll be honest, but let's go for it. So the book I'm going to be reviewing is Pretty Dead by Francesca Leah Block. Pretty Dead is a book about a vampire named Charlotte who was made vampire when she was 16 years old. And she's beautiful and lives in a mansion and has all these expensive clothes and perfume and everything from her very long life. And because of that, she's envied by other girls her age. But she becomes friends with one of them named Emily. And throughout the story, you kind of see what it's like being a vampire. You see all of Charlotte's history. Without giving too much away, there's also a vampire named William and a human named Jared who play a big role in this story. Now, Charlotte isn't happy with being a vampire. She misses being artistic and being a person and that's just something that she doesn't have as a vampire. So this story kind of shows her journey and tells her story. How do you do these book reviews without giving things away? And still say things. Alright, world building. Because this is a fantasy book, there is definitely a little bit of world building, including the rules of vampires. Um, one rule that is definitely different than most is they don't burn up in the sun. Um, that's like one major difference I found. Um, it's interesting. It's the way Francesca Leah Block writes is is very descriptive and very emotional. It's not so much world building. She kind of just plops you in the world and let you kind of figure it out as you go, which works for her books, and I like that. All right, characters. I really like Charlotte as a character. She, I felt for her. I cared about her. I cared what happened to her. Um, the rest of them weren't as fleshed out and developed as I would have liked them to be. I feel like I didn't really get to know Emily very well, and Jared was kind of there. William, you get to know William. He's just not likable, but he's a vampire, so that's the point, I think. But Charlotte was great. I liked her. One thing to note about the book is it's pretty short, and I read it in two days, which for the average booktuber, probably they could read it in a few hours. Um, should I have saved this for a booktubeathon? Probably, but I wanted to get my 25 book challenge off to a quick start and feel good, so yeah. Is it my favorite Francesca Leah Block book? No. Is it my favorite vampire book? No. Was it worth the time I spent reading it? Yeah, for sure. I liked it. If you've never read Francesca Leah Block, I wouldn't really recommend starting with this one. I would read Weetzy Bat and the Dangerous Angel series, or if you don't want to start with a series, start with Violet and Claire. That was the first Francesca Leah Block book I ever read. Or I was a teenage fairy. I think that was the second that I read. Okay, bye! Thanks for watching!